I work at the Hunter Integrated Pain Service which is located at the John Hunter Hospital site and we are a multidisciplinary service that has uh, medical officers, allied health professionals and nursing staff and we deal with acute post-operative and trauma pain and we also deal with chronic persistent pain. In a recent project that we did here at the Hunter called Sketch, supporting knowledge and empowering communities in the Hunter. We asked people who have pain what their thoughts were, we spoke to medical professionals as well and in some respects the medical professionals felt quite um, ill-equipped to deal sometimes with patients with chronic pain. Of course the Hunter New England Area Health Service is really large, or local health district is really large. So off we went and we started listening to people in pain throughout the region over a 12 months period and once we heard what was going on for people we understood that a major finding was that people were having real problems accessing their health services and they were also really not understanding what was causing their pain to go on for a long time. The patients said, you know, the doctors, they don't understand and then sometimes the doctors were saying to us that they would have liked more information or more support or more education around it. Through that whole process we got such amazing community engagement uh, and, and hopefulness because once people heard what can be done and what current thinking was in, in pain science, it was much more hopeful than they had thought. Now we're at the stage of writing it up for journals uh, and going to clinical redesign community up here, asking them to help us with moving the project further forward. We actually created a methodology for engagement, you know. Not rocket science, listen to people first before you start telling them what to do. You had lovely feedback from people who attended the lectures about how helpful they found them, didn't you? Some quotes and some numbers would be good. They like numbers, yeah, yeah, don't they? Yeah people, 120, said that the lectures met their needs for explaining pain okay. and gave them hope, then I think yeah, that's sometimes it's not possible. If you have a narrative that is about hope, you're more likely to get well. Okay. Whereas if you have a narrative which says, I've been told that I will never get well, and there's nothing I can do about it, and I'm, I'm just going to have to learn to live with this, that's a very negative bit of narrative. What they are saying now, the current thinking is, um, your pain can resolve. Uh, if you're aware of what, what can be done about it. Intervention was listening, responding to what people told you, and the way you responded fulfilled their needs, and the way you fulfilled their needs gave them the sense of hope that's a precursor for better clinical outcome. Um, a lot of the conversations were, um, you know, we have this problem, this pain problem, we can't get help, and when we do go for help, the person doesn't respect us enough to actually take us seriously. Fascinating, because actually what people wanted was just to be heard and understood mm. and maybe have some things explained, mm. which would be within the province of most healthcare professionals with some support, but they were probably so frightened of, oh my God, we don't know what's available, we've got nothing here, we don't know how to help you, and that they just well, put all shut up. There were health professionals that came to those lectures that I ran, mm. and their comments were, I now have something I can explain because I didn't know this stuff. Mm. You've allowed them to feel hope in some way, haven't you? You opened the door for them. Getting advice from people that are on a 100% basis day to day, they're involved in improving clinical services and making the consumer the centre of the picture. Um, getting advice from people that are doing that is really valuable to me personally and professionally. It's, it's invaluable from a, my, my point of view and they can see the big, big picture and they can see where it's all interrelated with everything else. So I, I found it really, yeah. really, really helpful for Always us. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's innovative, but it's seen as very innovative because it doesn't often happen.